little treats for all the kids when they come over. Even though my kids are teenagers, they still love these treats. So I'm going to make Rice crispy Frankenstein treats. So of course you're going to need Rice Krispies. You can get the generic if you want. Um, it's definitely a lot cheaper. Whoopsie, that was my butt because you know I do have a big butt. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing you're going to need is Kellogg's Rice Krispies. You can also get the generic kind. They're the same thing, just not the name brand. You need Pam and again you can use generic Pam. You need chocolate chips and of course I always get Tall House. Tall House are the best and Kraft Jet Puff. And it's really important to get the small marshmallows because if you get the big marshmallows they're not going to melt and sometimes they burn and you don't want that to happen. And then they have to decorate with eyes. So I got two different kinds. I got a Betty Crocker and they're like big and then these are like a whip. Uh, these are like the cake decorating. And the most important thing in this is the food coloring. I just started using this Betty Crocker gel food color. I love it. It really dissolves nicely. So let's get started. So the first thing and the most important thing to do is to measure your Rice Krispies first because you have to add them really quickly. So I take a measuring cup and I don't really measure perfectly, but I usually just stick my measuring spoon in here or See how I measure? <laughs> Six. So that is really important that you put, so I'm going to put that to the side. Then I take my butter. I learned this from my brother-in-law. First of all, I should have let the butter sit out so it melts easily, but I cut it in little pieces and it calls for like three teaspoons, but I put more because it tastes better. You know, the more fat, the better. I put that in, turn it on. I turn on really high. Then I cut the marshmallows. This is the process that takes forever. It kills your arm. So I also have to get my green, that's black, green poopa. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so I'm melting the butter on high, which I probably shouldn't, but I do. I never really. Like I said, I don't really follow recipes. I do kind of what I want to do. Okay, I'm gonna put the marshmallows in. And this, you actually have to do it really quick. And see, I already melted some from the heat. You gotta, if you don't keep mixing, it's gonna burn. And I'm gonna, this is the real me here, guys. I'm gonna drip a lot show you this. See how much food coloring I put in? Okay, so I'm going to turn the heat off, bring it over here, and you've got to add your Rice Krispies. And this is like kind of the hard part. Got the heat them. See how easy it is? You can make these for Valentine's Day, you know, you can make them red and put hearts and just have to incorporate this all in. I forgot to do this. Take the Pam and you have to spray. I spray it really well so they just come out really easily. And one good thing, if I was making this for like a party or something, I would probably do it more like with wax paper with my hands to put it down. But since this is like for my family, I'll show you what I'm talking about. And I have to tell you, this is such easy cleanup. So what I do now, because it's still really hot, I use my fingers to kind of push it around. And it's kind of gross, but. And then I like it. Nom, 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 nom. So while the Rice Krispies are setting, I want you to see some of the behind the scenes photos and videos that I took. Not even the girls know from our 
Cabo vacation, so here they are. Cameron steering this boat! A little bit of Sia. competitions and events your kids are definitely busy and always working on something do you have a lot of support to help you or are you just a super mom well this is a really great question I like to think that I'm super mom but I'm so not I have a great husband and we have a great team but the most important thing is I split my time between the girls so I try to make it equal that I'm with Maddie and Mackenzie the same amount of time but try not to be stressed and especially in front of your kids I think that's really important and the next question is from uh, Lisa Carmen. Oh, I like this one. Do you miss being able to watch your girls on stage every week? I know I miss seeing them both. Aw, they have a very, they're very special and they reach and grab you while they perform. Absolutely, I love seeing my kids on stage. I mean, even though I did every single week, it was still exciting for me every time. So I do miss that aspect of dance competitions, but I don't miss the pressure at all. That was a really great question, thank you. Next question is from Kira Firestone. What's your skincare routine? Well, sometimes I just use a Neutrogena wipe at night when I'm really tired and just night cream because it's really important to take care of those old wrinkles. However, it's really, really important to take off your makeup at night especially when you're getting older, you really need to take care of yourself. So I think I really want to do a video showing the proper way of removing your makeup at night. Next question is from Noor Canifer. What was your biggest dream growing up? Well, my biggest dream growing up was to be a mom, seriously. Like I never wanted to go to college or anything like that. I always wanted to be a mom. And I have the best kids and my dreams have come true. It's a great question, thank you. Well, let me check on my, Malibu's on my lap, so I can't wake her because she's a princess. Oh, these are ready to cut. See how nice they look? So let's get to it. Okay, so I can tell these are finished because they're not hot anymore and they're a little hard. So what you gotta do is cut them. And what I do is I cut it a little bit larger than it has to be, so if you mess up. Angel. Hi, baby. My Malibu loves to be with me, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this over here. I'm going to put this on the plate. So this is kind of like the shapey one. So what I'm going to do is take my little mini chocolate chips. I get the mini ones because they're easier to melt. I'm going to stick this in the microwave for a minute. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use the big eyes or the little eyes. Let me check on my chocolate. Oh, it's really hot. So be careful, this is really hot. So what you want to do is make kind of like his hair with chocolate. So you need to get this chocolate on pretty quickly because it's kind of dry. So I kind of like really slather it on. It's like the hair. So you go like that. It's really cute. And then what I do is, let me see if I'm going to use the big eyes. Oh yeah, I'm going to use the big eyes. So what I kind of do is take a different kind of, you know, just a, you need something for like glue, to glue the eyes on. So then I'm going to put glue 
glue the eyeballs on. So I'm using this Wilton Sparkle Gel, and I'm gonna use this actually for his mouth as well. This is really great. You can make your own, but I don't have time to do that. So I'm gonna make his mouth. It's gonna make it straight across just like Frankenstein. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like even little kids can do this. Because there's no baking involved except just the little bit of you know, just a pot of butter. See how cute? So this is my Rice Krispie, my Frankenstein Rice Krispie. And it is really yummy. And it's, of course, all edible. And the chocolate will harden up. But you do have to cover these because they will get hard as rocks and you won't be able to eat them. So here you go. Thanks for joining me today and watching me make my Frankenstein Rice Krispie treats. They were so much fun. And I'd love to see if you make them. If you do, tag me and hashtag Ask Melissa. Thanks, and I hope you join me next time. Mwah.